Hey everybody, I got a new book today called Crazy for Cups. It is illustrated by Jana McNeil, and there are over 200 teacups in this book. Flip it over to the back, the front. Um, Jana was really awesome. She sent some tea, which my daughter already drank half of it. I drank the other one. Um, I don't even know what to say about this book. It is so beautiful. Um, let me read part of this letter. Um, it says, It was inspired by a visit last year to Victoria and Albert Museum in London. They had three rooms filled with glass glass cases of the most beautiful teacups. Um, and she took as many photos as she could. Some of the drawings in this book are of those teacups. How awesome is that? I just thought that was so cool. So I'm just going to do a, um, I got some tea on here. I'm going to do a quick flip and you can see how beautiful these pages are. Let me see if we get a little closer. Uh, I just randomly was going through just coloring using different mediums and I use Copics. Um, I use Stadler's. I used, um, what are these? my flare sparkle gel. I use all kinds of stuff. I just was randomly testing out the pages. They are single sided, non perforated. It's some um, thin paper. Um, but you can definitely see how it goes through the Copics and stuff. Always protect your work underneath. See, nothing came through. Look how gorgeous. Every single one is different. Every single cup, the shapes, the patterns. I mean, it's so pretty. I said, I'm just going to start one. Let me just do one and, you know, I'll be done for the night. No, I did four, five, six. I couldn't stop. I just kept going and going. They're just so fun. You can do a whole one and just feel satisfied. And then come back the next day and do another one. It's just like one little mini art piece per cup. It's amazing. I love stuff like this. They're so pretty. I love this one, how the lip comes up like that. Just gorgeous. I would have loved to seen this in real life. Oh, and I got a little bookmarker. Isn't that cute? This is the last page I had been um, just randomly coloring a few. They're so they're small, so you don't have to think about doing the whole page. You can do one at a time. Just do one teacup and be done. And you got a whole little... Um, piece of art done for you for the day. Just make sure to protect your work if you're using markers. This shape of this one is so pretty. It is so cloudy and stormy here today. Sorry for the lighting. I love this one. Some of them are so intricate you're going to need your fine liners for sure. Beautiful. I can just imagine Queen Victoria every day with a different teacup, never using the same one twice. <laughs> just absolutely stunning. Look how beautiful the flowers are on that. Isn't that beautiful? She did such a good job at capturing all of these beautiful pieces of art. I love that one. Yeah, try out your color palettes, you know. Try out different mediums on each cup. Um, if you'd like a color pattern that you're doing, a palette in, that you're doing in on, on another page and you want to remember it, come back and use it on here so you can um, remember that palette. These are just stunning. Wow, these look more like um, in this maybe 50s, 60s patterns. Absolutely gorgeous. And all the handles, too, if you take a look at them, they're all different. All right, guys, look at that now all in the back. This is what the spine looks like. It's a nice book. It's got that soft 
um, feeling on the cover that I like. Crazy for Cups, illustrated by Jana McNeil. Um, really nice book, guys. Go check her out. I'll put the link to it down here at the bottom. If you have any questions or comments, let me know. I'll be posting more pictures of this on my Instagram and my Twitter. All those links are down there um, in my bio. Uh, if you have not hit the sub, please do. And I would appreciate that thumbs up. And um, I would love it if you shared the video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.